little bit of woodwork once doing outside on this porch support. What a cracking out. So that's the scraping back done. So where it was coming off is mainly around where the joints are. But down the bottom of the posts, the cement is sitting. That's been finished wrong. Moisture is creeping up the bottom of the posts. This one I've just slightly shaved it back a bit. But you can see where it's affecting the timber there. Anyway, I've got it all sanded down now and spot primed and undercoated. Because generally this is in a good condition, I'm just going to go over it with the 120 and then any areas that are really bad, I'll use this, which is 80, 60, sorry. So, and then finish off with the 120 over that. So with this 60 grade sandpaper quite rough anything that doesn't sort of come off when you're scraping this will take off the loose so same as down this area so you can't really get to properly without damaging too much so take that loose paint back um, same as this patch here. I just finish off with a smoother grade. That's all sanded down, ready for dusting off. I don't think this is ever going to be solved till this is took out might have a look at that anyway I get some primer on now this is all dust free put my sheet back over to protect all this brickwork no way I want to get any paint on that primer undercoat oil based and then inch and a half brush and just a small pencil brush both pure bristle it's just literally a case of rubbing it into that burr timber Just don't leave any thick edges With the pencil I can get it into that nail hole there carefully just rub some into these cracks which I will have to fill The bottom of that timber has not been sealed and that cement will be constantly wet in that wood when it rains and the water running down you're just going to sit along this edge and just draw into the wood leave that to dry and I can have a brew so I've decided to use one of my filling blades underneath the edge there just use this pencil brush to get in just at least giving them that little bit of protection on that small lip there I've covered my paint with a cloth. I can have a brew while that primer goes off. 
Oh, another factor with some of this cracking out and moisture sitting along the tops is I'm still in the shade at the moment and we're just getting past midday but it is quite cool here but once that sun comes around that corner there over the top then this is suddenly gonna you know the temperature is suddenly gonna go up so the wood will start to expand and then some drying may start to happen which could throw the paint off as well so once it does come on that sun I'm not going to be able to see so I've made sure I've got some shades for this need some eye protection while working especially with white I'll leave that to dry off now I can move on and get some inside work done completely dry now following day slight change of plan I'm just gonna go ahead and gloss this today um, we've not got much of this weather so I need to make the most of it these areas are gonna be getting left so they will get addressed again in the future but they're all right for now And this is what we're going to be putting on. Should look good when it's finished. Nice and clean again. Same procedure as before. We're starting with the top support, then bringing both posts down. So I've just got this little bit now at the bottom here. Just a square piece at the bottom. Once this is completed, and I can start to bring in the spindles and then the top rail 
and bottom rail. That's looking good now. Yeah, so the idea with these is for me just to finish these and then at a later date bottom of these posts will get addressed and I can just touch up. Okay, that a spindle. I'm only going to do two of these and then go around to the other side and bring them in. I'm beating the sun today because when, I'm, when that comes around that corner it'll be drying this off before that night air comes down and spoils the gloss so square ends Now I can come around to this side, finish these off, and move on to the other two. Same procedure. Underneath. Round to the other side, finish these back edges off. Underneath edge. Onto the handrail. Other side. Fishing with the top. Take it around that back edge slightly. Bring in this bottom rail and we're done.
and lastly just bring this edge in just working away from those bottom square edges just so you don't have any runs coming off them if you work up to them there that's where you'll get a build up of paint and it'll run always just away from them And we're finished. Oh, with the prep, the text the longest. Excellent. Another ten minutes or so, and the sun's coming over there. When I beat it. This is drying, no problem. It'll be solid enough for this evening when the night air comes down and this will resist it, it'll resist it. Keep the gloss.